I'm Andrew Carter for the Industrial Channel, and we're here at the Marion Career Expo at the Veterans Memorial Coliseum in Marion. Today we'll be talking with some of the leaders from area companies and organizations about opportunities that you can find right here in Marion. Our reporters are out on the floor around the expo, and we'll be checking in with them from time to time. In fact, let's go to Caleb Miller right now. Uh, okay, yes, Andrew, I couldn't hear you for a moment, but yes, I'm here with Andrea Fox from Ursula Middle. Andrea, Andrea, what does Ursula Middle do? Ursula Middle is a leading steel producer. Uh, we have a presence in over 60 countries, and the Marion facility is part of the tubular division. I see. Um, do you have any learn and earn programs? Yes, we actually have a pay for skill program. Uh, the more jobs you learn, the more money you make, and we also have a quarterly profit sharing. Hmm. I see, I see. Um, so right out of high school, what kind of job can I expect? Well, we like to get to know our new hire candidates to understand what skills they bring to the table. We also offer a job shadowing program so, uh, you know, they can decide kind of what area they think would suit them best. And then they could be doing anything from material handling, uh, moving product throughout the facility, and also uh, maybe working in uh, one of our weld mills or cutting cells. Does also Middle have a career path that will keep me engaged and challenged? Yes, Arcelor Middle provides many opportunities for advancements that include uh, tuition reimbursement programs. We have a maintenance internship program. Uh, you can pretty much, uh, you know, choose your own career path. We have visibility to job opportunities all over the world. All right. Um, thank you. Thank you, Andrea. Um, thank you about telling us about Arcelor Middle. Now, now we are going to hand it over to. To Kaylee, she's somewhere over on the floor. Kaylee, you there? You there? Caleb, I'm here with Kelly Milt from International Paper. Kelly, what does International Paper do? International Paper makes corrugated boxes. Um, we make all the boxes for Donatos across the U.S. Um, we also make the e-commerce boxes, the produce boxes, and several different boxes like that. And what kind of openings do you have? Jobs on the floor or management or an So we are hiring. We are looking for um, qualified candidates. We do have some openings on the floor, everything from floaters to operators. Um, we also have some leadership positions open. What do you look for an employee at right out of high school or right off the street? So what we're looking for in an employee is someone who wants to um, commit, someone who has a positive attitude, someone willing to learn, pick it up quickly, give it a chance. Thank you for telling us about International Paper. I'm here with Aaron from Poet Biorefinery. What does Poet, Poet Biorefinery do? Yeah, we take uh, cr grain, corn from local farmers, and we convert that into uh, bioethanol and other co-products like uh, DDGs, which is an animal feed, corn oil, and CO2. What kind of job can I expect from bio out from bio refinery right out of high school? Yeah, right out of high school, we have uh, several positions that would be available. One would be a plant technician one, which is how I started uh, 15 years ago with Poet. Um, we have a material handler position, which kind of handles the corn coming in and loads our trucks, uh, products going out. And we also have a maintenance uh, technician one position that would be available for those that are uh, mechanically inclined. Will Poet send me a school? Absolutely. We have all kinds of programs where we will send our employees off for uh, training. Uh, we work with the state of Ohio for uh, the tech cred program. So when we send people out, the state will reimburse us for those uh, hours and that time and that money and the cost of those programs. Um, so we have several individuals right now that are uh, taking stationary steam engineer courses and uh, POET will pay for that certi cert certification and that license. Does POET have a career path that will keep me challenged? Absolutely. As I mentioned, you know, I started uh, 15 years ago as a plant technician one. Uh, worked my way into a supervisor position, and then eventually operations manager, and then plant manager. So there are uh, many different paths that you can take. Uh, one of the great things about Poet is we always promote from within. Um, so there are a ton of opportunities once once you get your foot in the door. Thank you, I'm from Poet Biorefinery. I'm Sophia Harvey here with Sarah Fraker from Sika. Welcome to the Marion Career Expo. Are you having a good show? I am. Great. What does Sika do? 
Sika is a specialty chemicals company that develops products for the industrial, construction, and the transportation industry. Right out of high school, what kind of job can I expect? You can expect a quality lab tech as well as a batch operator. What do you look for in an employee right out of high school? A positive attitude and a good work ethic. Okay, let's go back to Andrew. I understand you have someone from Columbus State Manufacturing Extension Partnership. I'm back with Brent Maurer from Columbus State Community College, the Manufacturing Extension Partnership at Columbus State Community College. Brent, welcome in. And talk about the uh, MEP. What is that and uh, what do you guys do? Yeah, the MEP is actually a federal program uh, that's run out of the Department of Commerce through NIST, National Institute of Standards and Technologies. Mm -hmm. And then uh, in, it's embedded in all 50 states in Puerto Rico, here in Ohio, the Department development oversees it. For Central Ohio, we'll bring it down one more level, it's embedded at Columbus State. So we support 12 counties here in Central Ohio. Our mission is simple. We help manufacturers be better. Specific focuses on small, which is 25 or less employees, and medium size, which is more than 25 manufacturers, helping them be more innovative, more profitable, and more productive. Now, do you do outreach, or can people get in contact with you? How does that work? Yeah, we work specifically with the companies. So, yes, they can certainly reach out to us. Uh, go to the MEP website at Columbus State. Just type into Google. It'll be the first thing that pops up. And, uh, yeah, we're glad to work. The key is a manufacturer, okay? You have to have a manufacturing NAICS code. If you're a manufacturer and for some reason you don't have a NAICS code, we're glad to help you get it. And uh, once we have that, we're good to go. We'll start working with you and helping you be better. About how many companies are you guys working with ballpark figure? Yeah, right now I'd say we've got about 100 companies we're working with. Uh, since the MEP came to Columbus State back in 2019, uh, we've worked with over 500 companies. Wow, very good, very good. Brent Maurer joining us from Columbus State Community College. He is with the Manufacturing Extension Partnership, the MEP. And again, you can go to the Columbus State Community College website and look up MEP on there for more information about that. And now we'll head back out on the floor with Caleb Miller. Caleb, where are you and what do you have for us right now? I'm here with Kim Niedermeyer from Graphic Packaging. How, how are you doing at the Expo today? Good. There's been a good turnout today. Uh, looks like it's going to be a great day. All right. Um, what does Graphic Packaging do? Graphic Packaging, we make uh, food cartons for fast food service and uh, just general food service. So we make a lot of popcorn boxes, uh, but a lot of our company makes uh, uh, cartons for McDonald's, White Castle, Dairy Queen, Panda Express, Cracker Jack. Uh, so you kind of get the idea that we make a lot of cartons that food eventually ends up inside of. Does graphic packaging have a way to keep me engaged and challenged? Uh, yes, we have a lot of career opportunities, a lot of on-the-job training. A lot of our salaried supervisors actually started off in an entry-level position and have worked their way up into salaried roles through operating, leadership roles. Uh, we also offer uh, maintenance trainee programs to our employees where they can train with our maintenance technicians and move up into maintenance uh, technician roles from production without having to go to school. Um, but we also offer tuition reimbursement. Uh, it's a good way to uh, work and go to college at the same time. Uh, you can apply for tuition reimbursement after one year full time. We, uh, graphic packaging will reimburse you based off of your grades. Uh, so it's a really good way to uh, be debt free when you graduate college. I see. So right out of high school, what kind of job can I expect? Right out of high school, uh, we offer entry-level positions as an inspector or packer. Uh, basically what that is, is uh, when the product comes off the line, uh, there's quick inspe inspection for quality, uh, certain cuts, uh, and things like that. You'll pack that into a box and send it on its way. Uh, but a lot of our entry-level roles can move up into machine operating roles within 90 days to six months is pretty common. Do you have any openings? Oh yes, we do. <laughs> Many openings. <laughs> Well, well, that's definitely an interesting company. Thank you, Caleb. Joining me now is Mike Augenstein from Marion Technical College. And uh, Mike, welcome in. Talk about your role at Marion Technical College and what you do there. Well, thank you, Andrew. Um, it's multifaceted. Um, a lot of the uh, work that we do, I honestly don't um, typically assist with K through 12. I'm mostly working with employers. Um, any employer that needs to upskill their workforce, uh, we put together custom training for them. We have classes that are completely online that are on our website. Um, 
And then we also run a testing center downtown. Um, I am in Marion Tech downtown, and we have a Pearson testing center. We test everything from GEDs to teachers to IT professionals. Um, you name it, if you need a certification, we can probably do it. We do pre-employment testing for employers. I've given presentations about AI and where you, know, you now can have them, an AI write your resume, write your cover letter. It's really important after you bring someone in for an interview to test them and see if they actually know what they are talking about. All right, very good. Sounds like a busy time down there at Marion Tech downtown. Um, say I'm a student, maybe a little short on money for school. How can Marion Technical College help me? I'm glad you asked. Um, there are a million different ways to accomplish this. Uh, the first and easiest step is to either walk into uh, Marion Technical College and um, stop in our one-stop shop. It's almost always open. There's always someone there. We call it the one stop because you literally can come in, talk to admissions, talk to financial aid. Uh, they will tell you exactly what um, aid you might get from the state or the federal government. Um, we have scholarships. Um, and then, of course, uh, we have all these wonderful employers that are at this expo that have tuition reimbursement, which is another great way to get it paid for. So um, some students are going to go directly to college. Some are going to go directly into the workforce. And if you go directly into the work workforce, um, why not have them pay for it? Exactly. Thank you very much, Mike. Mike Augenstein from Marion Technical College, and you can find Mike at Marion Tech downtown. We've got our reporters out on the floor this morning. We'll be checking in with them throughout the course of the day. Actually, right now, let's head back out on the floor to Kaylee Williams at the Marion Logistics exhibit. Kaylee, take it away. Here with Marion Logistics. I'm at the Marion Logistics display with Alex Abrams. How's the expo going for you? I would say that it's going pretty well. Um, I like to see that there's a good crowd of uh, kids stu students here today, so yeah. Mm -hmm. That's great. What does Marion Logistics do? Um, so Marion Logistics uh, provides handling and um, warehouse storage space um, for our customers that are on the property. Um, we also do a lot of rail side, so transloading any type of finished goods. Um, Marion Logistics does not actually manufacture anything, um, so everything is pretty much just handling on that end. But yeah. Uh, what do you look for an employee right out of high school? Um, we look for eagerness, we look for determination, um, we look for willing to learn. Um, in our uh, area, we cross-train from various different locations, um, various uh, different um, job duties, so uh, we like to know that somebody's willing to come in and step up. Are you hiring, and what kind of jobs do you have? Administration, production, or anything on the floor? Um, yes, uh, we can um, hire anybody with forklift. Um, whether you have experience or not, we'll be able to get you trained. Um, we do hire for any type of clerical work or any type of logistic work as well. Um, so working with any type of programs in the warehouses like SAP or 3PL. So, but yeah. Yeah, uh, thank you for participating in this year's Marion Made Expo. Cassidy, are you there? I'm here with uh, Auburn from Piston Automotive. Um, Please tell us about Piston Automotive. So Piston Automotive is an automotive assembly facility located here in Marion. We actually produce mainly brake units for Honda and their subsidiary Acura at our location. Okay, that's interesting. And um, could a high school student work for Piston Automotive? As long as they're 18. <laughs> okay, and uh, does Piston Automotive have any learn and earn programs right now? We actually have two different tuition reimbursement programs. One is a true tuition reimbursement program where you would select your accredited college or university and we would reimburse you the funds to go to that school. And then the other one would be an online source that we are paying up to $8,000 of tuition credits. And that's not only for tuition uh, for college, that is also for leadership um, and other professional skills certifications. Okay, and uh, are you hiring at the moment? And if so, uh, what areas is that? Is that like production or um, on the floor, management, administration? We are hiring for production associates, forklift operators, and we're always looking for leadership talent. We do like to promote from within. So anybody that is interested in growth opportunities, Piston Automotive would be for you. Okay, thank you for letting us know about Piston. Um, let's go back to Andrew. Andrew, who are you with right now? 
Thank you, Cassidy. Joining me now is Ashley Marsh from Ohio State University, Marion. And I understand College Credit Plus has become quite the popular program. Tell us about that and how that can benefit students. Yeah, so it's an opportunity for students to be able to take college level courses while attending high school and it's for free. So if a student is really college bound and they know they want to get some credit out of the way, it's a great opportunity for them to start doing that while in high school. Okay, very good. Um, and how can students get more information about College Credit Plus? Can they contact you guys at the campus or what's the process there? Yeah, so they can contact my office. Um, we have a generalized email at askmarion at osu.edu. That's really the best place for the first step. All right, very good. Also, I understand now that uh, OSU Marion now offers a four-year engineering technologies degree. Talk about that and uh, how's that uh, coming along as far as uh, recruitment? Yeah, so um, it's one of our first degrees that you can complete only on the regional campuses with Ohio State, which is new. Um, so it's an opportunity for students to we actually talked to industry partners and we said, hey, what are our engineering students missing? And this was an opportunity where they said, hey, we need to combine some hard skills and soft skills. Um, they need to learn how to be great communicators and great leaders. And so that's kind of what we did to create this program. So we're really excited about it. And we're actually about to graduate our first class this year. So really you're going to see them out in the community soon. All right. And I assume more information available at the Ohio State Marion website. Exactly. Majors at osu.edu. All right, Ashley Marsh with Ohio State Marion joining us uh, here today on the Industrial Channel. And thank you for telling us about some of the opportunities at OSUM. Let's go back out on the floor now with Brady Keller and see who he's talking with. Yes, Andrew, I'm with Zach from Sakamura USA. Zach, what does Sakamura USA do? Um, Sakamura USA, we sell and service cold forging machines. Um, and these cold forging machines make different types of products for the automotive, medical, construction, aviation industries. Um, basically what it does, they, they go through as raw material and they'll cut off to a final product for the uh, customer to use and sell. Um, and what we do, we go out, we send a team and we'll work on these machines and get them back in the running order or we'll inspect them. Uh, that way in the future they're less likely to break down in an emergency situation. What do you look for in an employee right out of high school? Mechanical aptitude, uh, number one. So a, a lot of what we look for are replacing our or replenishing our field service team. Uh, so for that position we look for uh, auto techs, uh, di diesel mechanics, stuff like that. Uh, even in the ag industry, working on tractors on their, on their parents farms. Uh, just someone with a high mechanic aptitude. Does Sakamura have a career path that will keep me engaged and challenged? Absolutely. Uh, typically, we'll start off at the assistant level um, and then kind of work up from there. So start as an assistant, then go into like a full-fledged uh, field service technician role. Uh, from there into an, like a, an assistant manager type reel. We, we call it a PIC, person in charge. And then from there, you can go into like an assistant plant manager role. And also at Sakamura, we have a tuition assistance plan as well, program. And we help you get your education, your certifications, stuff like that. So if there is something else you want to do, you do have goals in mind, we can help you reach those. All right, well, thank you, Zach. I believe we have Sophia Harvey to with silver line doors and... Here's a dumb question. What does silver line door and windows do? So we manufacture windows and doors. We take uh, vinyl and we extrude it through our uh, machines that makes the vinyl in the window and we process our glass and we get it shipped to Home Depot to service our customers. Can a high school student work at silver line? If so, how does that work? So since we don't offer part-time, we generally hire high school graduates when they do. Um, and we are always eager for new hires um, that have recently graduated. We love opening our doors to them to give them a learning a room for growth and development. Okay. What do you look for in an employee right out of high school? Um, someone who has some mechanical sense that can read a tape measure and that has really good hands-on experience and like working with their hands. Okay. I'm told we are going back to Andrew. Thank you, Sophia. Joining me now is Amy Pernstill from Tri-Rivers Career Center, and uh, welcome into the Expo. It's good to have you with us. Uh, Amy, talk about some of the advantages, some of the opportunities that are available for both adults and high school students at Tri-Rivers. Well, as you know, Tri-Rivers, we're a vocational school. We, we teach the trades. So in adult education, 
Um, we have many different programs, many different things in healthcare, advanced manufacturing, and certainly getting a job in the trades. Uh, and it's where the money's at, it's where benefits are at. Um, right now, having that physical hands-on ability to do something is what today's employers are looking for. And at Tri-Rivers, we teach that. We do that, we move forward, we get students employed, um, we provide better opportunity, educational opportunities, um, and then they can also move on to additional educational opportunities. So getting a skilled trade is, is wonderful for a kid or an adult. What are some of the more popular programs that you're seeing right now, especially for uh, adults at Tri-Rivers? Well, in healthcare right now, our nursing um, is ranked number four in the state right now. And they are, of course, uh, just booming. Uh, we offer patient care tech, uh, licensed practical nurse, and of course our registered nurse program. Um, our EMT and paramedicine programs are huge. Um, and then in advanced manufacturing, we're just busy all the time, of course, with our industrial maintenance, our full-time welding. Um, in addition to that, there's needs for robotics, automation, PLCs, hydraulics, precision machining. Those are just booming right now. And how can people uh, who would be interested in any of those programs or other programs that you offer uh, get in touch with the school? Uh, they can either access us on our website, tryrivers.com, or they can call in to us any day, every day, and uh, we'll get back with them and help them figure out what they would like to do. All right, thank you very much. Amy Pernstall from Tri-Rivers Career Center talking about some of the programs that are available for both high school and uh, uh, high school students and adults at Tri-Rivers. Now let's head back out on the floor. All right, thank you, Andrew. Um, I'm here with Sarah Russell from the Wilson Bahan and Lock Company. And how's the expo going for you? It's wonderful. We love being here. We've been doing it since its start. All right, so my first question for you, are you hiring right now? And if so, what jobs are you looking for? Um, production floor, management, or administration maybe? We always are looking for anybody who's eager and willing to come uh, and work in a manufacturing industry. But currently, right now, we work with staffing partners. So you can go to staffing partners and they um, help bring you along to WB for an assembly position. So we're always looking for assemblers, uh, but as well as that, we look for highly skilled positions in manufacturing, like setup, tool and die, maintenance. Okay, so um, if you were to hire a student right out of high school, what would you look for in them? Most importantly, the soft skills. Being reliable, being loyal um, to the workplace, being on time, uh, having a good attitude, a good work ethic, and uh, those that's the beginning. I would say those are the beginning, uh, but uh, beyond that, anybody who has an appreciation for production work, manufacturing work, uh, I would say those skills would be the most important. All right, thank you. And um, if you were to have a uh, employee who was interested in going back to school um, to further their training, would you send them to do that? That's a great question because we currently are working with TechCred and MEP and those are services and resources that we're offering to our current staff. So right now we are working with uh, doing PLC programming, Siemens courses through TechCred. So we're taking a lot of opportunities for our current staff to go back to school uh, so that they can help with their job uh, at WV. All right, thank you for your time and thank you for telling us more about uh, Wilson Bohan and Lock Company. I'm with Abby Stump from Whirlpool. How are you doing at this year's expo? We are doing absolutely great. I'm really surprised at the number of students who have been coming through and asking great questions about, about Whirlpool. Yeah, that's very neat. That's very neat. Um, what does Whirlpool do? Whirlpool Marion produces dryers. We have been in the Marion community since 1955 and we build over three million dryers a year. Are you hiring? Yes, currently we are hiring. We are hiring for the production floor and for our materials department. Hmm. All right. Um, right out of high school, what can a student expect? Uh, right out of high school, a student could expect to come in to work on our assembly line and they would be automatically um, eligible for insurance. That includes health insurance, life insurance, vision, and dental insurance. They'd also be included in our 401k match. Um, that's right off the get-go. After 30 days, a person can decide to bid to another area if they so choose. And then after a year, after they are a Whirlpool employee for a year, 
Whirlpool offers 100% tuition reimbursement. So will Whirlpool send me to school for further training? Whirlpool will send you to school for further training and it will depend on what you are interested in. If you're interested in a maintenance or a tool and die position, Whirlpool will pay for that. They will send you to school, they will offer on-the-job training, and then when you graduate you would be certified through the state of Ohio. They also offer different training depending on what you are interested in. So if you want to go into finance or HR or communications, they have all those opportunities available and Whirlpool will help you get there. Thank you, Abby, for telling us about career opportunities at Whirlpool. Now then, um, we have, now we have one more interview with Keely, with Manel, with Manel Milling. Are you ready with your interview with Manel Milling, Keely? Yes, Caleb, I'm here with Jenny Rudd. Now, this is the Marion Career Expo. So we're talking about Manel Milling in Martell, is that correct? That's correct. What does Manel Milling do? Manel Milling is a dry baking mix facility. So we provide dry baking mix to companies such as Kroger, General Mills, IHOP, Dunkin' Donuts. Right out of high school, what, job, what kind of job can I expect? Um, right out of high school, we do offer um, just entry level positions for technicians uh, where you would come in and learn how to pack or mix or work in the lab as a quality technician. Um, and then you could move up from there. Does Manel Milling have a career path that will keep me engaged and challenged? They do. Um, Manel firmly believes in advancement through the company. So, for example, myself, I started as a packer and have made it up into management with the quality department. Are you hiring? And what kind of openings do you have? Jobs on the production floor, management, or administration? We are, it seems we're always hiring. Um, we do hire entry level, um, so you can move up to be a packer, a mixer. You can work in the lab, um, as well as you are also welcome to apply for any management positions. Thank you, Jenny Rudd, for introducing us to Manel Milling at Martell. Now, let's go back to Andrew Carter. Thank you for joining us here on the Industrial Channel for our coverage of the Marion Career Expo. I hope that you've gotten some ideas about employment, whether you're an adult or a student, that uh, you can take and hopefully move you forward in the future. We'd also like to thank all of our reporters from the Tri-Rivers Career Center Interactive Media Program for their good work here today. And uh, also want to thank all of the exhibitors who have come out today to provide information for folks in the community about careers here in Marion County. That's going to do it for us here on the Industrial Channel from Veterans Memorial Coliseum for this year's edition of the Marion Career Expo.